I think every artist makes work about ideas and hopes people are completely bowled over by them. Um, but I think realistically, we're just part of the conversation. What I like try to do to my work is to embody an idea as opposed to illustrate it. And so when I first heard the idea of, um, of the show, Washing Hands, it, it seemed like I didn't have an understanding of how I could go deeper beyond just illustration. So with a lot of the material and a number of websites, I was able to learn a good bit about the history of hand washing. And that's really where I drew the inspiration from. There's the, the cliche, uh, cleanliness is next to godliness. And, and I think that probably is something that was born out of the idea of ritual hand washing in religion. People were washing their hands as part of religious ceremonies for thousands of years before there was uh, un any understanding of germ theory. It's very human of us, like that somehow we come to the right conclusion even when we don't have the proof. <laughs> This idea of this ritualized hand washing, this ceremony of washing, is what I really became interested in and is starting to develop, develop in the work. Since there's not a formula to any individual painting or how they all come together, it's both the, the most rewarding, also the most frustrating part about working because what I imagine is going to happen very rarely happens, but then I get surprised with things that I never expected, which is really the, the great part. But, you know, it's. It's kind of like a little bit of a fishing expedition sometimes. The list is endless of big social issues and political issues that artists are not afraid to tackle, and which is one of the things I admire about them so much. But hand washing is just such a widespread thing. It seems like it, it should be more discussed and artists should tackle it. And, media should tackle it more. Hopefully that's one of the outcomes of this show and uh, if I could play a small part in that, that'd be great.